Uh, welcome back to Belmont Munch, the third consecutive video I am wearing these clothes. So, not three different dates. I want to make very clear this is all being filmed at the same time, just different ideas. So forwards, uh, the scoring has been a little bit lackluster recently. Uh, you look at the lineup and you wonder, how could that be possible? We only have three anchors in this lineup that don't do anything. So let's point out the people that have fewer than three goals. Sorry, fewer than four. Oh my God. All right, uh, that was scarier than I thought. Oh, he's got fewer than four. A little bit, so obviously there's a little bit of technicality in here because, uh, so what we're gonna do, uh, I got you, <laughs> I got you, I didn't forget. I did, but not for the whole time. All right, fewer than four goals. Well, shit. Um, don't mind how he's been playing. Uh, what we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna redeploy the players in the way that I want them to be right now. Uh, I believe I just looked at the roster. I think there's a lot of bookkeeping stuff with the Pelich injury. Uh, Clutterbuck's already been put on IR. Pelich, at the moment of this video being filmed, has not been put on IR yet. When he is, we've already called Ajo up. We will have an extra forward spot. Unless we carry eight defensemen, I don't think we will, because that would re require calling up Hickey, who is still hurt. So I likely a forward comes up. Current forward group, uh, as of uh, from daily faceoff, as of um, yesterday, the Devil game. Let's first of all acquit some of the guys with fewer than four goals. You don't expect much of uh, offense out of him, so I'm not going to fault Martin Johnston. That's not his game. The fact that he has three is great, so I'll take that. Komarov has zero. He had one. It went back to zero during the game last night. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, Komarov. Listen, I understand he does some things that he's a veteran. He, uh, the players like him. Uh, he's, he's popular amongst the players, especially, especially Beauvillier. They slap each other before games. It's really funny. Um, but for the purposes of me redeploying the lineup in a way I think is more effective, given that even the top six has been disappointing, and how could they be disappointing? They have Tommy, first line, Kunakal. Oh, God, how is he playing top line? It just goes to show... I mean, we'll talk about this in a different video, closer to the trade deadline, but a need for a trade probably um, to add some more offense. But this is the current organizational roster. I don't wanna assume a trade, can't assume a trade. So let's use what we got in the minors too, in Bridgeport. So with that empty roster spot after Pelich is put on IR, I'm going to say uh, first is a smaller move, Dal Cole. Del Cole as a scratch forward is not getting anything out of being up in the NHL. Uh, I'm going to throw Dal Cole in the minors again. This has been something I have been waiting for for a while. Uh, as you can tell in my videos. And I would move Komarov off of the fourth. Uh, Komarov is still good as depth. Uh, to come in for games that you feel you might need a little bit of grit. But I don't think he has to play every game because uh, we need to score goals. So I'm going to move Johnston to the fourth. I think he fits that line pretty well. It's a bunch of bruisers. And then you got Sezikis, who uh, can be a bruiser, but he also can score goals. So now... Um, uh, we got a hole on our third line on the left wing. Um, and we need goals really badly. And we got a guy in the minors who's scoring unbelievably efficiently. Oh, yeah. Kiefer Bellows. Come on up. You're coming for your first NHL regular season action. Bellows. Big guy. Can score. Kind of exactly what we need right now. And I think he could fit the mold of a Trotz team with a big, bulky. Trotz teams are not known for their, I mean, current currently, are not known for skill forwards as much. Um, that is why Matt Barzal is playing with Tom Kuhnhockel. I mean, this requires a little bit more playing with. Now you get uh, Kuhnhockel is a serviceable uh, minor, uh, uh, you know, scratch forward. Kuhnhockel being down here. I think you throw him down the minors. I think 
Ladd, I, I could get tomatoes thrown at me for this, but I thought Ladd played well in the game he came up for, um, but I understand. So I think these two could you know, be interchangeable, don't really care. Um, a matter of contract, you know, obviously with Ladd making 5.5 million a year and Kunhakel making about league minimum from what I remember, uh, there's a big financial reason to not call up Ladd because you're saving a million dollars keeping him in the minors. But, so now we've got uh, Kunhakel I took off, put him on the bench. I'm thinking, I know Everly's not playing well. Um, going to put him back on the first and I'm going to do something else. Very interesting. I'm going to, oh, where's Beauvillier going? Where's Lee going? Uh, Beauvillier, I'd like to see back up top. I'm just going to write Bo for time's sake. Uh, we'll get Lee. You got good experience on that second line. Nelson and Lee could work out. It's worth a shot. You get somebody that shoots a lot. You get somebody that likes to get in front of the net. We saw, I mean, Nelson shot against the Capitals the other day. Get some traffic in front. People, goalies can't stop him without traffic. You put traffic in front, they're not going to know what's hitting them. Hopefully, in a perfect world. Now we got to throw a forward back into this lineup. And uh, unfortunately, at the moment, <laughs> it would probably, probably be, I think it'd be Kuhnhockel right now on the third. I mean, I'm also having trouble keeping track of some of the moves I've made. Okay, so uh, Dow Cole, for money's sake, even though I think Lad is a little bit better, adds a little bit more. I think this is better. Uh, I know, and listen, I'm also not saying we shouldn't make a trade. I'm absolutely saying we need a trade because we're, we're playing with uh, Josh Bailey from before he got good right now. Uh, Tom Kunako also being on the third line still for me doesn't work um, because we uh, we like to score. I mean, scoring goals is, is fun, and I would like to do that uh, someday. But right now, I feel like this team needs the injection of Bellows, and if that doesn't work, it's no big deal. You send him back down. Yeah, maybe you have a, a couple games where Dal Cole gets another shot. <clears throat> but... I'm not just dumping on Dow Cole. This is more of like just, I mean, like I like like I highlighted before with the the stars. There's a lot of guys in this lineup that have less than four goals. That's not great. Um, and you've got guys closing in on 20 goals. You got a guy with 20 goals available possibly, both in Ottawa. Pajo, who's a center, but can play the wing. He could push Bailey back to the wing. Pajo on the third. Actually, I think Pajot probably plays on the second the way he's played most of the year. And then broussard has been a center before. Bailey's been a center. Kunakl can come out of the lineup. The scoring gets better in that way. You've got a gritty fourth line that still keeps the, the trots tone. Um, you've got some youth. You've got some experience. If you've got Broussard back down here and Pajot up here, a little bit more scoring and Broussard needs... Broussard will be less essential to the to, 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 to. there will be less pressure put on Broussard which is good now I'm going to point out the players I think have been good offensively and then we're going to be done um, Nelson for sure Barzal for sure Bo Lee's been a little bit spotty but better than most and that's kind of it I'm going to give you one to see I love you Shishikish um, his smile could cure disease I'm telling you I saw it before the game against the Devils the other day his wife had his child uh, right behind the glass in the first row and Tzikis came up and went and my heart exploded Islander fans Sound off in the comments I know you've been clamoring at, chomping at the bit clamoring in the comments um, tell me what you think of this lineup compared to the current iteration. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, this is an area I love debate and I'm not, not as much debate, but more, I love feedback on this because I like to see what people can come up with to revitalize the offense a little bit, uh, because it does feel like, uh, things have gotten a little bit stale, but that's pretty much it. Um, 
So let's hope for some more goals. Let's hope for a trade. And let's hope Kiefer Bellows gets his shot. Uh, but until next time, I've been Belmont Bunch.